Hello everyone, my name is Silence Cody and today I'm going to answer another QA question from Godot's official website. How can you limit input from infinite by holding a key down to check was it pressed and released? Hi, I can't figure out how to make code for input. When you bound a key to a action, action will happen every frame as long as you keep button pressed down. How can you write code to make a check was it pressed only once until it's released and do it that again when needed like with attack functions. <gasps> But without timer nodes. P.S. I'm guessing you're operating with was pressed or such functions. Okay, so I realize what you're asking and this is a very, very common question. Now this is an old question and I'm sure it's been answered many, many times. So let's create a short video that hopefully will help you and others with similar problems. Let's create a completely new project. So if you wish to follow along, you can just create a new project and jump right into this. Let's create a control node, which will be our parent node for everything else. Let's rename this for the main, control S to save and hit the save button. Let's add a script by right clicking main and selecting add script and let's hit create. Now let's remove all the commenting and begin by setting process input to true. Now because when you are pressing down the button it keeps looping that is probably because you are using input what you should do, if you only want it to run once, is to use the event. So if you were to use the event is action pressed. And let's say you're pressing the space bar. So UI underscore select, which is the default key for the space bar. In order to change keys or view keys you have set, you can go into project settings and go under input map. And here you can see all of the actions and the buttons needed to press them. Or rather, activate them. <laughs> So in, which, in our case, we want to use this space bar, so we are using UI underscore select. You can also create your custom ones just by hitting the add button after typing in some action name, as well as clicking the plus button next to the action which you created. So let's go back into our script here. So if event is action pressed, and you're pressing UI underscore select, we want to print something. Space pressed. So let's test it out. Let's just hit the play button. Let's make sure to select our main scene. Hitting select here, and then double clicking our scene. Let's hit play again. And let's press the space button in 3, 2, 1, BAM! I'm holding down the space button by the way, and it only ran once. Let me release it and press it again. And again and again and again. So now it only ran once. However, I'm pretty sure you are using input, because if you are using input directly, and were to hold down the space button, it's just gonna go on forever. Now, I am currently using Godot version 2.1 stable. Unfortunately, this version does not have a newer function called is action just pressed. If you are using a more recent build, you can use this function to only run this once. Currently, there is no way to only use run input. Well, I'm not gonna say there is no way to run input only once, but it's incredibly difficult. So, until you are either upgrading your Godot version to 2.2 or above, you should and probably have to use event is just pressed. Now the opposite of just pressed is if event is just released and UI select which is the spacebar. Space released. So this only runs when you're pressing down the button and this only runs after you release the button. So if you were to press the spacebar again, hold on. Oh, oh, I see what's wrong here. <laughs> it's action pressed there, not just pressed. That's a typo on my part, I apologize. Let's try it again. Space down, space up, space down, space up. And it works. But that's just something to keep in mind. Unfortunately, in input does not have its action released, which is really sad. Because if that were the case, you could actually use a boolean to just control whether or not you press the button and make sure it only runs once. But until we upgrade, you will have to suffice with event. Thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful to you, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to see more. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.